Hey guys, it's Lexi. I'm back with another video. So in the spirit of softball season starting up again, I wanted to make a video doing a bunch of different eye black designs and styles that you could do for games. I just thought it would be something fun to do as well as something fun for anyone who plays softball and wants to see some different designs for eye black. So let's get started. So to start off, I just bought some Wilson eye blacks. Like it's the standard eye black stick. I feel like this is the one that I always use, have used when I played. So I just ordered this off of Amazon, pretty easy. $2 cheap standard eye black it's like a lipstick shape which always ends up being flat from being used but it's nice that it has the tip because it will be easier to do designs so let's start off I already know that my face is going to be falling off by the end of this because of how many times I'm gonna have to wipe it off and put it back on. But I just have like my regular base of makeup right now, but I'm not gonna keep redoing it under that. So I'll probably just keep wiping this part off and then all of that's gonna end up being gone. But I'll keep my eye makeup, my eyebrow, eyebrows on. So let's just start with a standard, the standard eye black. So just two lines on each side, pretty easy. Um, just pick whether you want it high or lower. Never thought I would be putting on eye black again. <laughs> Just hopefully you can make them even. Sometimes mine would, mine would end up not even, but I just make them thicker if they need to be evened out. Just add more to the top or the bottom, even enough. So this is the standard eye black look. Next, I'm gonna do one of the ones that I did pretty often, which is I guess the standard one, you just make a little wing on the end. So I would use the tip to kind of make the end. And that one just comes off the side here. Now you can draw it on like that, or what I also do is take my pinky on the end, just because your pinky is the smallest size, and drag it down like that. And then um, since it gets a little bit, you know, taken off, I just fill it back in. You can do the same, I'll do it on this side without drawing it out. And a little tip, if you want it to be like thicker to skinnier like that, um, just apply more pressure and then less as you go down so it gets thinner. And then just apply that. There is the one wing. Now another one that I frequently did was the double wing. So. Um, I would put one and then this one is a little easier to use a tip because it can get like really close together if you use your finger because it will be thicker but just like that and doing double and just like that now you have another style. So that's the double winged look. Sometimes I even did did <laughs> three down and you can make this as much as you know, you as you want, make it however you like it, play around, have fun. Um, so I would also do it from like one, two, and make a third from the front. But in that case, I would usually have it. Then there's three, which is also cool. And if it's messy, that's fine. If you're playing a sport, it's gonna end up messy anyways. But yeah, so and there's the three wings. So now I think I'm gonna take it off so I can do other stuff that was nice because they just all were at the same time but i'm going to take this off and then be right back so now it's off i just used my makeup remover wipes my cheeks are already red also forgot to mention in spirit of softball season obviously i had to rep bc go eags i hope they have a good season um to all of my gals still on the team playing um i'm definitely following you guys seeing how you guys are doing, and I'm looking forward to going to some home games. But anyway, another fun design is doing crosses. So again, pretty easy. And if you want it to be more rough looking, just smudge it with your finger. So there's the crosses. Next. 
Something else I also wanted to add is um, something me and my teammates love to do, I know other teams do as well, is put glitter on top. So literally buy any glitter you just put on your eye black and then um, I would actually put a little eye black or use the finger that I smudged it with, dip it in the glitter and pat it on and it just makes the whole thing glittery, glittery and super cute looking. Obviously, people are going to be like, that defeats the purpose of eye black, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I never wore eye black for the sun. Like, it never helped with that. It was just for style. <laughs> so, I wanted to say that it's another cute thing. Buy your team colors. Um, you could put one color. Sometimes I'd put half gold, half maroon for BC, which was fun. I know another one that some people do is like a big block, basically. I know it's probably more in men's sports. I feel like I see like this type of, this type of design. Just be careful if you use this too low. Sometimes the rim of it, I guess, can hit your face and get some eye black on it. So if you're really picky about how neat it is, then maybe use it like a little longer. And so there is that one. Another one that I've seen some people do is, or maybe it's more in football, but like, across their whole face so let's start by doing a line from your nose and from the other side too maybe more of a football one but why not add it no my light always does that yeah and that's that one and then if you wanted to add any like smudges from that one, sometimes people just get really messy with it. Smudge it down as well. So that's another one. So you can get creative and do whatever you want. There's literally so many ways you could do it. Um, I've seen people do, I'm just gonna do one side now because I don't know, what, there's no point of doing both, I guess. Just since I'm just showing you what ideas and how to do it. So of course I showed you the, two, the one, two, three before you can do that up. I've seen some people do it like straight down type of thing. And like you could do like just only two like that, which is also a cool one. I saw a picture of this one. This is if you're getting, I guess, like fancy here. I'm just gonna try to like remake it. So it's basically like, this is where the pointy end will come in handy. And then you just like darken this up. So that's cool. It's just cool that you can literally do anything. Actually once, I always wanted to do my whole eye and just like Cal Drogo. And I never did, but I think that would look pretty sick. Or I've seen people just do like straight up triangles. There's like this type of triangle. So this is the triangle one. There's that one. And then there's like another triangle. And you can just make it from this one. Like that literally just goes like down. Just a straight up giant triangle. You can make it as messy as you want. Okay, so there's that. Okay, I've seen this one a few times. Let's see if I can remake it. So it's almost like the shape of a triangle, but it's like three lines, if that makes sense. So like, let's start the first one here. Honestly, I think it goes on darker when I have makeup on my face. You go from the same line, make it a little longer. And then one last one, even longer. Not exactly it, but it's close. <laughs> close enough. I was going for this look here. You can get crazy and do like some weird like, some, I don't know, I feel like now I'm looking like I'm gonna try or something. 
in the movies when they do face stuff. I don't know. But I think it looks cool. Be creative, do whatever you want. There's that, whatever that is. So I know we did crosses before, but I feel like X's could be cool. I cannot draw a straight line, apparently. I mean, I guess that could be a look. Just trying to come up with as many ideas as possible. If your team is some type of tiger or lion or cougar or something, or if you just like this, you could do like a three lines, kind of like a scratch. So I feel like that could be cool. And that was like... So I'll just start with the C and then drag that out. You're gonna ask me, what is this? Um, I don't know, this cool squiggle type thing. Snake squiggle, kinda looks cool if you ask me. This is gonna be my last one just because there's so many things you could do. You could do one arrow. You can do two arrows. Like that. Like that. Like that. Or you could just like that. Honestly, that's pretty sick. I don't know. It looks like abstract if you ask me. Perfect. But yeah, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thought this would be a fun thing to do. If anyone some ideas or if you just wanted to watch it and see me do some dumb stuff, that works too. But don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Hit the Hit the notification bell down below, um, that way you get notified every time I upload. Good luck this season if you are playing. Just remember that confidence is key. 90% of softball is mental and I can tell you that from experience. If you're having a rough time, everyone gets into slumps, but like that negativity of being in a slump just creates a downward spiral. And I have been there, so it's tough, but just remember that you need to be positive. I already know that you're gonna like get a hit and visualize exactly what you want to do, where you wanna hit it. That's just some short advice for me. Don't wanna go too much into that, but um, good luck on your seasons and I'll see you guys next time.